Welcome to this look at a new mod map to console slash crossplay on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's here! Court Farms Country Park by Oxygen David is out crossplay. So it's out on consoles. It's been out on PC already. Now I have purposefully not watched a single map tour. I have not watched anybody's Let's Play. Apologies to all the guys that are doing Let's Plays on Court Farms at the moment. Um, because I didn't want it spoiled. I, I didn't want to know. I wanted to come on here and get that wow factor. That wow factor that you get from an Oxygen David map. You know, I know there's a lot of you know people whether it's very Marmite. If you're looking for a map that immerses you in the landscape, that takes you back to farming, the sound effects, everything. I mean, it's it feels real. This is the map. If you think about Carmsden, Marwell Manor, Oakfield, um, any of the maps, Sandy Bay, all that skill, all that ability, then taken up another notch, this is the map. Um, set in Banwell in Somerset, this is based on a real-life farm in the real world. The PDA is real. Um, then we have got a new animal type in here. We've got rabbits, so you can keep rabbits as well. Um, because Court Farms Country Park, you can go and visit, so it's kind of, you know, petting zoo type thing as well. It is in the real world. Um, you can go and visit the place. It is a real working farm as well. Um, there are, there's custom everything. There's custom lighting. We've got um, seasonal uh, visuals, random events. I haven't worked out what the random, ev random events are. Uh, custom license plates, foliage, ground textures, sounds. Um, there's over a hundred, yeah, a hundred new high definition models put in by Auction David. 873.73 megabytes download, but before you go, whoa, that's a bit high, stop and think for a moment. We've had plenty of maps that come out that are around the 300, maybe 400 megabyte download, and then have 15 required mods. That when you add all those in, takes up to around 800, 900 megabytes. So... This one does have, does have, doesn't have any required mods at all. You just plug and play. Um, we start at the farmhouse, and the farmhouse is custom with loads of stuff going on. Uh, we'll also have a look at the map first, which looks like this. So on New Farmer, we start with the main farm. On Farm Manager Start From Scratch, you don't start with the main farm, but once you purchase it for 309,072, a bargain, you get all of the um, icons appear. Uh, plots 40, 46 and 48 we start with as well. As far as field prices go, we've got small to medium fields. There are a couple of large ones which aren't staggeringly expensive and field prices across the board aren't too bad. The fact you can gradually build yourself up as well from small fields and gradually work up. I mean, we've got field 122 there, 452 grand, 165, 421. They're about the biggest plots there are. Now we do have some plots as we go around we're going to need to purchase um, because there are four farms including the main farm so we've got three extra farms that we're going to kind of pick up along the way. There are some plots you can purchase. There's one here which is I mean they're placeable plots and then we've got areas like this one here 154 so you've got other farm yards that when you purchase them the buildings are all there um, but there's no icons there's no silos there's no animal pens and like that so there's plenty of plots around the map you can pick up as well so the main farm then we start here at our sleep trigger in the bedroom if we go through the house rather nice spacious bathroom back bedroom there are 100 collectibles a spoiler alert there's one right here on the bed love this very cool come out from here bathrooms and boudoirs it's got it all come across the landing out of the bedroom that's the other way out and down the stairs we've got our kitchen area another collectible you're already two grand up when you start kitchen diner lounge very nice tv and speakers door to go out to the back garden but most important, barbecue. Turn that off for a second. We do have one light switch, as far as I can tell, that does the lights for the entire house, and that's here. Light switch on, does the lights for the entire house. So if you're looking around the rooms trying to find the light switch, it's right here. 
And now I couldn't find a wardrobe trigger actually. Sleep trigger, but I couldn't find a wardrobe one. I mean, you can go in through the main menu. If we come out the front door. We have a custom dog house. There is a dog about somewhere. But now again, I talk about my mental health quite a lot and I talk a lot about going to the Lake District and places like that. My, my mother-in-law's family, all of her family come from Somerset Way. And um, I like to say, I just found going around this, I know it sounds ridiculous, very emotional. It, it evoked that response. Like I say, it's immersive. The sound effects, the feel, you know, being that I'm from the UK as well anyway, just driving around the lanes in the countryside. Oh, man, it's a very, very nice map. Now, it's not crazy bonkers with loads of insane productions. There's a, there's a place for that. There are maps that have got all those things. And look at Frontier with all the extra stuff and all the cool stuff. And I put that as a game changer map. And, it, you know, it's phenomenal. This is phenomenal for other reasons. This is phenomenal because of the immersiveness of it. The detail, you know, the amount of detail on it is incredible the custom textures lighting all the stuff we do have a pig pen down here that will hold 70 pigs i need to go around the map i know i'm getting kind of very we've got a little pond there you can see the collectibles all over the place up here we have got our rabbits you can have rabbits or baby rabbits i'm going to buy some so you can see them because they're cool let's buy some rabbits now these will grow and you can you can you know you feed them and then you can sell them if you want to. Look! Baby rabbits and rabbits. It's a nice little addition, isn't it? Bring the kiddies, come and have a look at the rabbits. I know I went to a farm years ago on a school trip and they had guinea pigs. A big guinea pig enclosure. It was amazing. Anyway, I digress. Plenty of barn and building space. Now, the farms are fixed in place. I'll talk about build mode now because under build mode, uh, under added mods, there are no added vehicles machinery or equipment nothing like that under build mode there's only two things we've got under production and factories we've got a, um, a custom biogas plant court farms biogas um, and then we've got under animals if we get there we've got a dog house under others we've got the custom dog house that we just saw that's it there's nothing else put in. So the silos, the buildings, all the sheds, they are all fixed in place. You can't demolish them, you can't remove them. Um, animal pens are all fixed in place as well. Um, now again, that may be that may be for you, that's the thing. You think, well, but I like to have my maps customisable. That's fine. There are tons of placeable areas around the map where you can build your own farm from scratch. That's not a problem either. I haven't noticed any lag or anything at all. Um, slot count is 1208 on new farmer on farm manager and start from scratch it's 1090 um difference being there's no equipment or machinery on farm manager and start from scratch so 1208 when you consider everything that's on the map all the detail all that's that's incredible as a slot count i think i think that's brilliant uh, if we come around the side here we've got a dump trailer just in there we've got equipment and machinery in the shed here, I think we've got a light switch just around the side there and turn the lights on. In the main shed, we do start without harvester, we do have a baler, fertilizer and lime spreader. We have our cedar, um, we've got our plow, rear mower, header and header trailer. We come through out of here, we come into the back of, actually we'll go around this way. This is the cow barn. Again, the level of detail is incredible. Now we have got a silo. Um, and there's a few silos at the farms. I'm not sure what the capacity is because these aren't you can't replace these They're not in the build mode. Um, I haven't tried filling them up, but these are standard crop types Now when I say crop types there are four added crops on this map as well. We've got linseed field beans rye and alfalfa The silos will take those extra crop types um, as far as putting them into the ground if we go into here and tools, cedars will do all four, I think, down the bottom. So cedars will do all four. And then planters, I think planters only do the field beans. Yeah, so you can do all four with the cedar, with a planter, just the field beans. As far as harvesting goes, it's a regular header. And the regular header will do your linseed, your field beans and your rye. Um, because alfalfa is a grass. Now alfalfa can be baled 
it can be tedded. Uh, if we go to, oh, what's the obvious one that will show us that uh, forage wagon? So you've got the forage wagons down the bottom there, you've got the two extra ones in there. So you've got alfalfa grass and you've got alfalfa hay, uh, oh yeah, alfalfa hay if it's been tedded. Um, and I'm pretty sure if we go into here, go to our animals. Yeah, if you look at the cows, you've got um, grass and hay and stuff there as well. Now, as far as animals go then, oh, we do have telehandler there. We come through, I'm going to jump the fence, but that's fine. Feed points inside. We've got a water point here. Slurry tank is just there. We come around the back here. We've got a milk point just there. This will hold 50 cows. Just in here. Now, as far as feed goes, if I put a cow in, what I'm liking now is a lot of maps and map makers um, are putting in the option, which we never really had before. If you look on the right hand side for feed, it always used to be you know, you could feed them grass, feed them hay, various different things. If you do total mix ration, bang, you get them to 100%. But what a lot of farms map makers are doing now is putting in silage as an option. So you can just feed them silage and that will get you to 90%. So if you don't want to mess around making total mix ration, if you're not too bothered about getting to the full 100%, silage will do 90% of your feed. Um, so it's, you know, it's not up to you, but you've got silage there as an option as well. We've got silage clamp, talking of, just the side there. Uh, we have got our chickens just here. This will do, where was the, there we go, dialogue box there. 50 chickens. The light switches for inside the barn. Uh, we've got a fuel tank there, 10,000 litres that can be refilled. We come into the main barn, we've got a workshop just in here. And the light switch, whilst it is here, it is showing from the inside and the outside as well. But light switch for the barn here. Come a bit further around, we're going to grab that tractor in a moment. Uh, we've been around that bit, we saw that there. We did, yep. Yeah. We've then got, just the side here, we've got horses, 10 of, can we put into this building here? Can these be opened? I mean, to be fair, the horses are out in this pasture anyway, they don't actually kind of use that building, but you can use it if you want to. Then we've got sheep, nice big sheep pasture out here for 100 sheep. So that's the main farm, that's Court Farm. Now, just up the lane, which we're going to kind of pop two in a moment we've got i found two there might be more there are campsites now it does say campsites can be bought and that will earn you extra revenue kind of like a like a solar panel that kind of thing it just brings in a little bit of extra money i'm not too sure how much it is it doesn't actually say and because i put in um which i'm going to do in a moment i'm going to put some money in um i had government subsidy signs so i can purchase bits going around when I went past the hour, I, it's hard to differentiate between the, the government subsidy signs and what these might be earning. But you can buy the campsites and they will earn you some extra revenue if you want to run a campsite. And then you can add a whole a load of immersive gameplay into that as well. Especially now with yesterday with the um, skip load of the skip lorry coming out. Um, and, oh, and there's so many different things you can do. It's absolutely brilliant. So, Court Farms. Now, as far as I'm aware, actually saying that, um, that's where the egg pallets spawn. For the chickens which is just over there if you buy the chickens they just roam they roam wild and free in the yard so you just have to be careful when you're driving around you don't run me over so what i'm going to do actually yeah before i head off i'm just going to stop here momentarily by the campground and i'm going to put some money in bear with me just a second there we go that will help out a bit so from here on the campground actually i didn't even show you on the map. So the campground is this bit here. That's only 39,864 to buy the campground. And there's loads of mods as well. So once you're on the ground, you can put some extra tents down. You could put a cell point in there if you wanted to. So if you wanted to have somewhere you sell stuff, or you could put some, you know, kiosks or whatever you want to do. We're going to head down the road. I'm just trying to, like I always do, try and do the most efficient route round. But with the lighting as well, the dark bits aren't too dark. It just it works and look at the countryside and this is another one I know I, I always found that I, th I think it was Oakfield was one of the first ones I kind of experienced that on um, it just feels like it goes on and on and on it, there's, it doesn't feel like there's a map edge and that adds to that immersiveness you know that immersion of the whole thing I think it's brilliant there are gonna be some bits on the map where I'm gonna show you I'm gonna do some drone 
with the build mode because that works quite well. Um, I'm also going to show you um, bits on the map where I'm going to skip because there's a lot of driving. And what I've found in interesting, right, we're at Stonebridge Farm now. We're going to turn into Stonebridge Farm. There's a campsite here at Stonebridge Farm that can be purchased as well. Um, yeah, because it, the map just feels huge. I, I don't know why. It just feels absolutely massive. So, Stonebridge Farm campground, which can also be purchased. Again, plenty of grass here, plenty of land for activities, whatever you want to do. And then we've got Stonebridge Farm, which is just here. So, if we come back to the map, we come down the road here. Now, these plots... I did have a look and buy up various different ones that look like they had buildings and stuff on. A lot of them are farmhouses and things. And you can buy the plots of land. You can put sleep triggers, wherever you want to do. But we're down here at the moment. Now, I've just come in off the lane here. So that's the campground there. But then we've got the farm here. So plot 181. We buy that plot there and do that. We get some triggers come up. But that's not it. You can expand this farm further. If you buy plot 183, you get horses. 175... We get pigs, 184 I think it was, we get sheep, and then 186 we get cows added in. 185 hasn't got anything, and 200 again, that's just one of those little plots you can buy that's got some buildings on. Um, I didn't get any triggers come up with that. So you can gradually kind of extend the farm here if you want to. So what I'm going to do is, can we drive down through there? I think we can. And again, it's, I love the fact that it's all custom, that it's all different. Um, it's not just plonked down. It, they feel like real farms. Rabbits here. 15 of. So if you want to have rabbits, you can have rabbits. You don't have, you know, it's tell up to you. Um, the plot here for sheep. Uh, that does 200. If we come up around the back of here. Actually, that's what something I was going to check. Because um, there are some plots where we can yeah there's a couple of plots um where you can actually get rid of the rubbish but it's kind of like a bit of a rubbish tip we're going to go down and look at one of them once you've purchased the land you can remove the debris horses 10 and then pigs down here so like i say these are all additional you can buy them up if you want to but you don't have to 100 pigs if you want to run pigs here at stonebridge farm as well Every, every new map, every bit of stuff I'm doing, everything I'm seeing. I, I watch a guy called Paul Hayes, Hayes Outdoors. Uh, there we go. Silage clamp just there. Um, and he was up in the lakes. And uh, like, I talk, like I say, I talk about mental health quite a lot. And he, he does too on his channel. And I know people do that whole kind of, oh, I don't see what you've got to be depressed or miserable about or anything like that. But it's just one of those things you kind of get, you can get yourself into a bit of a funk. And I watched his video the other day and I'm not ashamed to say I cried. I, he got so upset and so emotional about what he was doing and I miss being up there. I miss being out and about, you know. It's, it's a very strange thing. Anyway, uh, dialogue box for chickens, just there for 50. And then our cows, again this was additional. The chickens are part of the farm. 200 cows if you buy the cow pasture that runs down there. And I drove around here feeling the same thing feeling that i just want to jump in the van and i just want to drive out into the countryside you know just want to run away for a, a week i can't afford to but i wish i could um silo just there and all the buildings we can we have access to for storage and whatever else you want to do again activities storing of stuff i don't think we've got any pallet storage anywhere i know some maps have that a lot now but i don't think we've got any pallet storage now some of these yards are tight, they are, you know, if, if that's not your thing, again, there are some nice big placeable areas around the map which will allow you to build a much larger farm with much better access if you want to. If we cross over the road here, and this is what I love, it's kind of tucked away. What well, looks like a sell point, but it's not. Look at the detail. We open the door here. This is the bakery. Sophie's Sweet Treats Bakery. Let's buy that. Bread and cake. So productions, production chain, all custom, including the sign. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, from here. To make sure I've gone the correct side of the road. I'm going to continue. Got to make sure. Because when I did, I, I kind of went around the map first when I was prepping. When I was checking out where everything was, 
bought up all the plots of land that I thought might have things on, so I already had the icons on the map. Now I'm doing it as I go. I'm trying to remember everything was. <laughs> It'll be fine. I promise. It'll be fine. We keep going down here. We're going to need to go back up there later, I think. But we will get to just down here. That plot I said about that's um, a rubbish, not a rubbish tip. But the farm has been let go a little bit, let's just say that. Here we go. So this farm here, we don't own it, we can't open it. Oh, yes we can. To let for sale. You can't let it, you have to buy it. Um, but if we go into here. So we've come all the way down here at this plot here. So this one here, 42. Buy that and do that. Is it 42? And then if we highlight on here, I don't know if you can see, we go to demolish. Right, if I highlight on the rubbish, I don't know if you can see all the way out at the back there, this is going red here, so I'm going to go over stuff. It goes red. If I demolish now, I can remove the junk, like so, and we get a usable, workable yard. Which you can have as your main farm if you want to, or a subsidiary, or whatever you want to do. So you can clear the rubbish. Again, storyline with that, especially with the skip lorries. You could bring skip lorries down. You know, you could do a whole thing about clearing that out properly, and you know. Love it. Back up the lane. Road, just like my road, this is an A, and more A road. If we turn in here, we've got town stores. I'm going to do a bit of a droning in just a second. <laughs> I know people think, oh, you're really droning. Oh, very funny. <laughs> so we've got town stores. Now, there are a lot of stores around the map. Each of the stores, I think all of them actually, all the stores has a sell point. So that's town stores and town stores bales. All of the stores sell points have a bale sell point as well. So I won't say that at each one. I'll say what the stores are, but each one does have a bale sell point. If I throw the drone up now, and we go this way across the map, we have plots of land. So on the map, this plot here is showing as a, like a housing estate, if you see bottom left. Um, and there's a sign there so that's one of your placeables plots you can buy it up and build your own farm on there but then right next door to that you've got this one here which is a farm which you can buy it doesn't have any silos doesn't have any animal pens or anything like that but you can buy this plot have this as a separate farm as well if you're running multiplayer you can run all different ones all of the subsequent farms that you purchase after this don't have sleep triggers but they do have other you know other triggers on them whether it be silos and animal pens so, from here, I think I took a different one back out again after here. We are going to do a little bit of cutting cross country. I love this. I just... People's gardens, people getting on with their lives. It just feels real, you know? Now imagine a map like this in VR. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine virtual reality where you get to that point where virtual reality and reality are bleeding together? It's just <sighs> staggering to even consider it. So from there, town stores, we've gone up and up this lane here. We are now at plot 34. If we buy that for 235 grand or just over, do that and that. We get all these triggers come up for the farm just here. I say no sleep trigger, but we have got a farmhouse. We've got cows. 50 slurry point we got pigs and oh, where's the dialogue box this there go just the side oh not pigs uh, uh, sheep at 100 we've got a silo around the back here uh, this farm was which was this one called elmcroft this was elmcroft farm did i pass the sign i think on the way in didn't i this is elmcroft farm I did. There you go. Elmcroft Farm. 
which can be purchased if you wish. Now I'm going to open the gate here because we are going to go out cross country. And I'll show you where we're going to go on the map. So we are going from here out across here to this road then we're going to take this four cups taking these sell points and stuff up here now again these are plots you can buy i have checked a few of these they haven't got sell points or animal triggers or anything like that on them um and the same down here i've checked out a couple down here as far as i can tell there's nothing on there now i could take the lane and the lane does wind around following drainage ditches and roadways and stuff like that but i'm going to cut across because there are some tracks that go across the field it would just make it a bit more expedient Since we just bought the farm, we own it. And it gives you a chance to take in the scenery. Oh, there are no collisions on the hedges. Well, at least there aren't for vehicles. Look at this. And everything's different as well. There's stone bridges, there's flat concrete bridges, like there's one coming up. Um, it's not, like I say, it's not just plonked down. You know, I've got one bridge that I'm using, bum, bum, bum. No, no, no. I like that. But even though it's concrete, the detail with the culvert underneath it. Crack a lacking. Now, I've always said this as well as we're driving up the lane, we're going to take the next fork. Um, there are different sorts of maps and I've said that so many times before you've got your picturesque maps your ultra realistic immersive makes you feel like you're there and if that evokes a response and that's something you want to do if you want to get back to farming I mean you've still got production chains you can run this is precision farming ready as well um, it doesn't say about platinum DLC and I did when I was doing the test have platinum on here um, And then you've got maps that are functional in that they've got lots of sell points, lots of production chains, lots of things you can do on them. You've got ones that blend between the two, which are functional, which have got production chains and stuff on, which are picturesque as well. But I think these ones, Auction Davies maps especially, um, GB Modding's another one, that go further towards the immersive and realistic. I'm not saying it's not functional, of course it runs as a farm, of course it works as a farm. And it does say it's custom wind as well, I just noticed actually with the corn moving as well, look at that. <laughs> you, just, you just feel like you're there. To our right, we've got Long Meadow Stores. As I already previously said, each store, and that's the store sell point, also has you can tell because it's got the bells next to it. Across the road, in direct competition with Long Meadow stores, we've got Folly Down stores. Custom animations, as you can see, little forklift truck driver going around, getting on with his daily routine. Sell point. And bales. Now, if you can see off in the distance there, that's Banwell Castle. Now, Banwell Castle, I'm not going to drive down there, but I'll chuck the drone up. If we go back out into the lane, we follow the lane up, between fields 129 and 130, this lane here, if we take that all the way along and follow it along, we come to Banwell Castle. Now, you can get to it from this track as well. This plot of land is an interesting one, because this was one when I was checking on the map. So we've come right the way across here, we've come all up here, so you take that track there to this plot. I thought, oh, plot 72. Looks like there's something on there. I clicked on it. 9,681,000. I was like, what? Why is that so expensive? I couldn't afford it when I was doing my prep around it. I thought, well, that can't be a biogas plant, surely. So I chucked the drone up, went in a look, and um, yeah, it's the castle. So if you want to buy the castle, you can. You can go out to the castle, you can have a look around there, maybe collectibles there. I'm not saying there are or aren't, but you know. But if you want to buy the castle and become landed gentry, put yourself a sleep trigger in there, go for it. Sawmill, just the side here. Sawmill is a standard sawmill with the platinum expansion on. Um, it was still running as a standard sawmill, not platinum expansion. Now, 
This is another plot of land which is available to purchase as a play schools plot. Now I'm going to drive across this plot and I will also then show you on the map because right out here, out to the east, we've got the garden centre and garden centre bales sell point which is out here as well. This can also be got to by the main road. The concrete bridge there, then the track runs out. You've got the bale cell point, you've got the main cell point on the other side of it. So this is garden centre. If I go back to the map, so from here, when we come up the lane here, we did all these cell points. I've driven across here to this point, but if you take that fork there, or that fork, that turning there, and then come up, we can get to it by road. Um, or right the way down here, we can get to it and come right at the outside if you want to. Um, it depends how you want to go about it, but that's the garden centre. So what I'm going to do now is a little bit of driving, because we've got a bit of a way to go. So from here we're going to cross over, we're going to follow that all the way up, right the way across, all the way up to here, to these cell points. I mean it's not, it's not too far to drive, but it's going to take a little while. Okay, so coming up we have got the animal dealer which is just over there, then we've got the farmer's market, just here. And then continuing, I think we need to take another. Do we need to I think we do. I'm trying to remember the route I took. But the other thing I, I, I found as I was going around again is. I don't know. Drainage ditches, the water, the sound effects. Turn off a tarmac road onto a dusty, sort of almost sort of rock, sand. Every bit feels different. It's not samey, it's not, you know. Continuing west then. Tell what this does remind me of. Um, when I met the Wombleways for the first time, we went to a tractor run uh, down in Dorset. And um, weirdly, literally as I was driving on just then, I kind of looked to my left and thought, wow, this, this feels just like the tractor run. You know, a whole procession of tractors driving through the countryside. It had that feel to it. Oh, that was something I meant to say at the start. I'll, I'll mention it in a moment. Um, that was right on here. As we turn in just here to the biogas plant, which is here, and this plot can be purchased. Now, the land, if you buy the biogas plant, so we come all the way up, all the way across there, took in those, all the way across, and we're now here. So, the biogas plant land, plot 194, is only 5,707. So, you can buy the land on its own. If you buy the land, you don't get the biogas plant. However, if you buy the biogas plant, you get the land with it. So, if you want to buy the land above the placeables and stuff on it, you can. Um, but the biogas plant is 880,707, and that also then takes in the land as well. If we go on there now, you'll see that's purchased. Uh, standard biogas plant, I think it's custom because of the way it's been laid out, I think. Um, I, I'm, I was checking the recipes, trying to work out if anything stood. It might be the recipes are slightly different. The cycles per month are definitely the same. Products in and products out are standard. Um, so that's the biogas plant with the silage clamp just over there. Once you're on the land, of course, you can have more silage clamps in if you want to. And then we've got Pine Creek Stores. 
with bales next to it and we've got a debris crusher at the back here debris crusher limited we come back out onto the main road we're heading south again in a moment we come to the vehicle store and workshop and the reason i said i meant to say it showed whoa mr tony i thought it was next one along um because I always say when we get to the vehicle shop, workshop, and reset, this is not the reset point on the map. So your vehicle store is just here. If you buy a vehicle, it will spawn here. We go inside, John Deere dealership. Workshop trigger is around the side here. But the reset point, so if you do want to reset anything, the reset point, let's go back to our map. I meant to say right at the start. Come all the way back to the main farm here, where the farmhouse is here, and the pig pen was just opposite. So we came out the front of the farmhouse, went to the pig pen. This field here, or just on the corner of this field here, is where your vehicles will spawn. So if you reset anything, it spawns back at the farm, not at the vehicle shop. Just so you're aware. I think we've got a, there's a forklift. There you go. There's a forklift trundling around here as well. So that's your vehicle shop. Back out onto the main road. Why do I turn traffic off? I just I thought, have we had any traffic? Why well, traffic's on? I guess we must have driven. I'm so focused on looking at my notes and where we're going. Didn't even dawn on me. So, oh, there we go then. Probably because we just came cross country and uh, haven't seen any for a little while. On our right coming up, we've got the uh, the old plough, public house, purveyor of a good selection of real ales and serves hot food all day. There's not a sell point or anything in here. Um, I was going to say actually, go back up. So we're now at this point here. No, you can't buy it. I was going to say, it's a pity you can't buy that little plot there because you could put a sell point on there if you wanted to sell to the public house. That's the old plough. We come down the side here. We've got Tall Trees Stores. Now, Tall Trees Stores is a slightly different. We've got three sell points here. So you've got Tall Trees Stores Bay 1, which is here. We've got the Bale sell point, which is there. And then Tall Trees Stores, the, the main sell point, I guess we can call that, is this one here. So there are three here. Then we go back onto the main road, back the way we came. You can go down the lane that way, but I think we'll miss bits that we, we need to get to. We go back out past the pub, the temptation to pop in for a pint. coming and taking a chance straight out whoosh right we're heading south again fly over the brow of the hill it's one of those again that scenery landscape sprawling out ahead of you It's gorgeous. So, to our left, we've got the grain mill. So we're coming back into Banwell. We've got another place of all's point there. Plot of land for sale. We come into here. The grain mill production chain for producing flour. If we go inside the building, this is where we can purchase, if you wish. 121,000. When we've purchased it, now it's got one, two, three, four, and five, although one, two, five, three, four. I'm not sure what that is. Um, but this does wheat, barley, rye, the additional crop, oats, and sorghum, all those in flour coming out. But it runs old school windmill, proper milling. Why'd you say that? 
I'm not sure where the millstones are, but anyway, uh, we can actually go up here onto the next deck. Cool. So yeah, that's the grain mill. There's a lovely little house near me. It's weird. It's very strange. Um, when I was a postman, I used to deliver to it, um, and it's um. It's a housing estate. I mean, it's a housing estate. I say housing estate. A housing estate in so much as the houses are probably worth over half a million each, if not more now. Um, and there's a little track within the middle of this big housing estate. There's a windmill, which has been converted into a house. And it is lovely. It is so nice. A little bit Jonathan Creek. If you've watched Jonathan Creek, very much like that. So next up, we've got Valley View Stores. And after me saying I wasn't going to say bells every time, I have said it every single one, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> Sell point. I'm not saying it. Come out the back of here. You can go back the way you we came, but we come out the back here turn down here we come to the last of the farms I think it's the last of the farms if my calculations are correct we come to hope no home farm home farm just here back to our map so we came all the way down here windmill I say that plot of land there 53 for sale um, the sale point there we are now at this point here so 133 if we purchase that do that Actually, I just want to check. Let's buy 56 and do that and that. No, nope, no extra triggers come up. Just in case, it's just because there was the other one. There we go. 107. No, just that and that. Uh, that one can be sold back. So, didn't hurt to check. So, 133 and 108 here at Home Farm. Again, there's no sleep trigger. We've got barn and building space. We do have a silo just there. We've got a trigger down here for our cows. Slurry pit just there. 100 cows here at the, uh, at the farm. Uh, we do have a silage clamp, I think, around the side as well. Yep. Just there. Oh, I got Marwell Manor vibes then. Again, not sure what. I, just a silage clamp, but I just suddenly thought, whoa. Um, Marwell Manor was where Jeremy was was birthed, born originally. For, again, from the Wombleways. Um, and if we come round the back here, it's our dialogue box for the sheep. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it was right at the gate where we came in. We'll come all the way around the back anyway um so sheep pasture field 200 sheep in there now the other ones there we go there's your wall pallet spawn point just there that's home farm very nice indeed now as far as i can tell we've been round um I, I went out and drove across, I droned across there to show you that. I couldn't find any other sale points or uh, houses to buy. As far as I can tell, Main Farm, Stonebridge Farm, um, Elmcroft Farm and Home Farm. That's four farms. And it does say on there four main farms and more smaller yards. And like I said, there are a load all over the place. And, and like I say, the, the map just it feels massive. Probably because, I don't know whether it's just the route I took round, whether it's because there are a lot of smaller fields, smaller mid-sized fields, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just the addition of all of the all of the buildings, all the stuff on here that makes it feel more immersive and more... I know I keep using that word, but it's true. Some maps you go on don't feel as big because I suppose they feel a bit more sparse. I, I don't know, it's difficult to tell, isn't it? But from here... 
if we continue on this main road, heading well, southeast really now, we'll come over the next brow of the hill and we're heading back towards the main farm. Court Farms Country Park. And that's the map, ladies and gentlemen. Eagerly awaited. Has it been worth the wait? I think so. Again, it depends on your opinion, depends on how you feel about it. Um, it's a cracker. It's a really nice map. And there we go. So I'm back in here. Court Farms. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.